What is copywriting? Hi everyone, my name is Braden Chase and I am happy to be with you, you guys, with you guys tonight. Blah, 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 sorry. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys about this question, what is copywriting? And uh, especially if you're new to the, the online world and, and marketing world or even the business world, copywriting might seem like a very vague kind of idea. And oh, hi Mayata. And uh, copywriting can be confusing. What is this? So let's kind of talk about it a little bit for the words. So um, one thing that we have, right? We have book writing, which is the writing of books. That makes sense. And we have poetry, uh, poem writing, which we call poetry. And we have uh, writing stories, which is story writing, okay? And then we have this copy writing, which is the writing of copy. So, on the surface, that's kind of confusing. Well, copy, copy means I'm, I have something here and then I'm writing the same thing over here, right? I'm copying something from one side to another, right? That's what copy is. But, and so it's, it's a confusing word. But when you're in marketing and you're in um, online business or even any business, copywriting is much older than the internet. Um, but copy is this word that has a very special meaning to it, right? Within this marketing world. And that copy is words and phrases that are used to help people do something, whatever that happens to be. So you're helping them and guiding them to persuading people to do something um, through words. So if you search online, what is copywriting? You get a lot of definitions. And the general definition is that, right? The words and phrases used to make people buy something. And that is true but it's kind of superficial and kind of simplistic in understanding what is copywriting. So I wanted to kind of explain what this is and how this works, just with a little bit more detail about um, understanding what copywriting is and how it can benefit you, benefit your business um, in, in many different ways, right? <laughs> so copywriting is, yes, the words, but not, not just the words, right? The words are copy. Copywriting is the, the skill, the science, the art of using words to achieve something. And that something is helping people and persuading people to do something. So in, in business, right, we'll kind of keep this a little bit more concrete. You're often trying to get people to either opt into your email list or sign up for your program or purchase your product or something like that, come to your webinar. All of this involves words, but the words need to do something. You are taking those people on a journey or through a story, but a story that has specific steps and pieces and parts. We are trying to get people to understand or, or move or do something based on the words. So copywriting is much more about the psychological processes that we take people through as we use words or with the words that we use. So as I tell a story, the story starts here and moves there, but it brings us to an understanding of, uh, I need to do this or I should take this further step. So copywriting in business and marketing is much more about the psychological processes and understanding and helping people learn why they should do something. Now, one of the kind of um, uh, difficulties or the ethical questions that you have with copywriting is often using the words, you can persuade people to do something that maybe they should not do. That's the ethical question that happens a lot with marketing. You can use words in a very carefully crafted way to do some kind of negative things and to convince people to spend money when maybe they shouldn't, or to buy something that maybe they don't need. And that's that's a difficult issue that you always need to be careful with as a copywriter. And this is uh, an ethical question that I deal with often as a copywriter. Okay, I need to set these things up in such a way that the person understands clearly that this product is for them, but not you know, convincing or manipulating people to purchase something or do something that they shouldn't do, right? It's a very difficult 
um, uh, negotiation that you have to go through as you walk through this process of copywriting. How do we explain this? Hello. <laughs> How do we take them from, I don't know what this product is, to I want to buy this product um, in a kind, um, truthful, honest, um, clear, obvious way so that they can come to the conclusion of, I need to buy this product because it's actually good for me and it will help me. And that's the purpose, right? Some businesses can be a little bit shady and a little bit dark and do, you know, just trying to get money. And those are generally the worst businesses and I try and avoid them as a copywriter. I don't want to be writing copy and trying to help a business just sell more stuff, right? I try and find a business that um, has an actual good product and they have something that is actually helpful to people. And that company is the company that I help to serve and I, and I help them to share their message and I help them to walk their clients or customers or patients through the process of understanding the product. So for example, let's say that it's a, um, uh, a dentist, right? Dentists are very helpful, right? I have a lot of bad teeth that dentists have helped me with, right? So dentistry, modern dentistry is very important. Like, I, it's a very helpful product, right? So you find a dentist, and you're like, hey, dentist, you do good stuff. You're a helpful person. Um, you do um, good services. I'm going to help you on your web page tell a story that explains to your patients when they show up hey, this dentist is a good dentist. He will help your tooth pain go away. He will help you eat better, chew better because your teeth are working well, right? Instead of, I am a dentist, buy my stuff, right? That, that, that's not very interesting, right? Instead, you can tell a story of, oh, when I was young, I had a lot of dental problems and I, had to, I lost all of these teeth and it was very hard for me and I went through college and it was so stressful because I was embarrassed by my yellow teeth and all of these problems, so I learned to become a dentist. And by being a dentist, I was able to fix my own teeth and now I love helping other people fix their own teeth so that they can have the confidence to be up in front of the camera, right, and be on Facebook and do these things, right? That story is a lot more interesting than by my stuff right it's <laughs> but when i go to a lot of websites dentist websites or doctor websites or other places that's what i often see buy my stuff right come to my store come to buy my thing right do my supplements whatever it's very very simple like that instead by creating a story and helping people walk through those psychological processes and understand oh this person, this dentist, this product, this supplement, this service, this online course is good for me because of this and this and this, right? We help them understand. For me as a teacher, right? As a college teacher, I'm trained, an English teacher, all these things that I do. Copywriting is very much feels like teaching to me. I feel like I am teaching people why this is a good product. I'm helping people understand the value of the product, the value of the dentist, the value of the supplement, and through understanding that value appropriately, they go, oh, of course I need this. Let's go buy, okay? Because that thing will help them. That's the whole point. Okay, so that's kind of, I guess it was a little bit longer than I intended, right? An explanation about copywriting, but I, I wanted you guys to understand that. Copywriting isn't just the words on the page. It is, but not just that. Good copywriters are not just writing paragraphs. They're not just putting words down. They're not just explaining things. They are walking the person, the client, through a psychological process, through a story, through events, through life, through conclusions, through understandings, through perspective changes, etc. That we're, we're using the words to achieve a particular goal to teach, in my case, I like to call this teaching, teaching people why a particular product is good for them. 
So I hope that was helpful for you guys to understand in business, right? Copywriting is so important in so many ways. It touches every aspect of business and it needs to be done very well. So if you're interested in copywriting, I do that, right? You can come down and check this. I've had to do a lot of stress, right? In my own ways of, of learning how to be a copywriter. Um, I've, I've now done it in two different languages, right? I've done a lot of copy for Brazil and now I'm doing more things here in, in the United States with companies here because I see a lot of people need that help. And it took me a lot of time to learn it, so I'm trying to help other people learn how to do it and to do it for them, for the people who don't have time to do it. So if you're one of those people, post underneath, right? Comment underneath and I can help you out with that. If you are um, looking to learn about those things, I also love to help with that as well because it's, it's a different world, right? It's a difficult word, world to learn about. And I'd love to help people on that journey. So if you have any questions, post underneath. And I hope you guys have a great night and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.